absolutely in love guys can we just look and appreciate we have got some neon quartz have we got the red soles yes we have i am loving those neons let's see what else they've got here a little bit of oh that's a heavy model's foot in there a new vlog and may I say welcome to indoors it's absolutely freezing I'm not going to talk to you from the outside it's in single figures today and we are in March and I'm wondering how much longer until we get some spring so I thought I'd take you with me just for a very quick visit today um, I have an appointment in Chanel shoes and it's in relation to the shopping vlog that I did last time and may I say to everyone who's been watching my vlogs absolutely thank you thank you thank you thank you for all of the views and all of the comments and all of the advice on the item that I asked you to help me decide on so I'm going to Chanel today to make that decision I think I've settled on a color and they have my size in stock so I'm going to have a good old try on and see if I'm going to make a purchase and then I'll probably do an unboxing in due course but come with me we're in Harrods it's warm and it's bright and um, yeah let's see what we can find see you later my way to Chanel I'm having a little pit stop here because these stop me dead in my tracks. Aren't they so cute for spring? Cobalt blue from Rubius Milano, fuchsia pink and also the neon green. How lovely are these? Hello. Okay I've had to have a little pit stop in Max Mara because oh, look at this. Isn't this stunning guys? Isn't she beautiful? I love anything with a bit of a teddy fur. How much is this now? This is 830. I mean, I just think it's so lovely. It would match my teddy coat, I have to say, um, but it's spring and I'm not really looking to buy another furry number. But shall we try her on? doing the dad's sandals in their infamous shirling. I, I do like these, but I think I'll pass. Beautiful though. This is one of the new colors of their coats. Is this the Madame? Let me have a look. Cadmio, love that color. Would we wear this in cashmere for spring? Probably not, but the color is fantastic. Okay, we're back. Shoe heaven. Heading to Chanel. That's a nice shoe. What can we see here? Oh, look at this gorgeous number. Who is this? Bruno Frisoni. This reminds me of the Sex and the City shoes and Milano Blonick. Oh, awesome. What else do we have here? Magda Butrin. There's a lot of corsages, aren't there? There's a lot of flowers everywhere this season. Understandably for spring. Valentina Garavani. A nod to the retro look from the 1980s with the colors and the straps. In the Chanel window on the side, we've got this highly sought after number. This season, they've got the logo in the CC in navy as opposed to black, which was last year. What do we think, guys? Are we liking this? Not my favorite, but I can see why it'd be very popular. In the next window, interestingly, they've put the Le Boy bag in the window. This is the large size, and I'm quite happy they've done that because this is one of my favorite classic bags. 
Prada Milano. Right, guys, I didn't ask you this question last time, but who is loving this new puffer situation we've got going on? Do we like it? I mean, I can certainly assume that we've got the comfort element here, and it does feel very soft. How much are these, anyway? These are 880. I do quite like the idea of the comfort element, but I don't think that it's my cup of tea. But if you like it, you like it, I guess. Right, ladies? Hmm. I'm not feeling this, guys. I'm sorry. Prada exclusive, probably for the colour. I'm not feeling it. Not feeling it at all. What is going on? So we're in Louboutin. Christian Louboutin. Look at these babies. These are very similar to the ones that I've seen recently in Vista Village. This is 585. I do quite like these. And this is 750. Dare I say they're quite McQueen. just look and appreciate we have got some neon courts these are the kate 100 650 and you've got a bit of neon have we got the red soles yes we have i am loving those neons let's see what other else they've got here a little bit of oh that's a heavy model's foot in there that's very heavy a perspex number not sure, so sure on those. Ooh, these are quite nice. Imagine that with a black, a black dress. That would be lovely. Right, can we just appreciate this little gorgeous Mary Jane in glitter silver? 825, that's called the Mavida Jane 130. Oh, that's delicious. What else do we have here? Oh, a bit of silver. I'm a silver fan. Hello. Kate 100, 650. That is very nice, actually. And then we've got the black, if you want a bit of subtlety, but still with a bit of sparkle, 650. Love that. And these are the classic trainers from Louboutin. How much are they? I saw someone wearing this the other day. These are 1300. Is that just in the silver? 750 in the leather actually with the suede. I mean the profile of that is just amazing. <laughs> The Zara masculine oversized camel coat. Underneath, I've got a Karen Millen cowl neck jumper in merino wool, and it's absolutely freezing outside today, so it's much needed. And then I've got my 22A classic flap in dark beige. Absolutely love that. Leggings, I live in them, and chunky Chelsea boots. Okay, guys, walking past Dior and Shoe Heaven, look at this display that they've got. Isn't that the most unique looking book toe in khaki bra? It's just gorgeous. And they've got the matching saddle bag as well. It's actually like a khaki green base as opposed to a khaki brown. Ah, but it's so botanical to me. The colours together with the white. Then you've got the broderie anglaise as well. Stunning. Really, really nice. I've got to stop looking, haven't I? Oh! I found the display of the Bruno Frisoni collection. Just look at it in real life. Seeing it without being behind the glass is better, much, much better. This is called the Sexy Scandal Flower, 1695. Quite high, actually. I'd say this is probably like a hundred height. A bit high for me at the moment. I'm totally into my 
comfy shoes at the minute, but these are very nice. If you look, ooh, if you're looking for a bit of bling, look at that, fuchsia pink satin. This is the Cristal, 975. And then for a sling back, great piece of bling on this, 1065. Quite like those. And then a patent green number. I mean, that's actually quite soft when you put your hand underneath. That could be quite comfortable when you wear it, to be honest. That's 795. And then the gold. Oh, very pretty. And for those of you who are interested, the brand is called Bruno Frissoni. Walking past Alexander Wang, we've got more bling bling with the silver studding. This is 610 with the Wang elastic on the ankle but what I stopped for was this little number isn't that beautiful I mean that's quite easy to wear that's quite seasonless as well a nod to the retro handbags with the wang on the buckle past the Chanel window. This is a beautiful, haven't seen this one before, a light blue two-piece knitted set, gorgeous, with the infamous shoes of the season. Mm, delicious. I'll do an unboxing and show it to you in some time, but yay, I've got the guys before I head off as I said this is a quick little video for this week but this is Fendi's window I do like the athleisure wear look at that grey marl jersey dress sorry for the reflection love that let's see what's in the main window stunning like a duck egg blue if you can see it close up with chocolate brown trim on the sides and the air force blue here what have we got in the window? Let's have a quick look. Ooh, look at those futuristic platform boots. It gives me Spice Girls vibes. Right, time for some dinner. What should we get? Do we want salads or do we want the chicken and the lamb? Let's go chicken and lamb. What should we have today? Let's have a look. Oh, they've got the poussin. The poussin. Should we have the lamb? They look like they've just been finished. That looks lovely. What's that on the front left? Oh, that's macaroni cheese. I'm 
toast and on my health kick I can't have anything gluten or with dairy. I'm doing a gluten free vegan thing at the moment guys. Alright guys, thank you for watching. I'm on my way home now. I've done my little deed of the day and we shall see what's in here another time. Thank you to everyone who's given me advice in the previous vlogs. I really appreciate your comments. And if you haven't seen that shopping vlog, I'll put it up here for you. Lots of love, everyone. Keep safe and well, and I'll see you next week. Bye.